We have arrived, Fivizano, so exciting. We literally drove straight from Pisa and went straight to lunch. So one of my favorite places here in Fivizano is Osteria Il Sogno. Um, it's delicious and I love the owner there. She is so lovely. We ate quite, we ate so much that we had to get a takeaway. So we're gonna have this for supper tonight, but it's beautiful. The fountain is on, the fountain Medici and I'm so excited to be here. It might just be 48 hours, but I've been working so much in London and at Matt Britton that I just needed to come here and actually decompress and be with Emma, eat good food, sit by uh, on the terrace and go to the beach, which we will be going to uh, tomorrow and just immerse myself in the Italian life. But I'm so happy to be here. I just can breathe. I don't have furniture up here yet, but we've just come back from lunch, arriving off a plane, hour and a half flight, and it's the most spectacular day. <laughs> so we're, we're taking in the sun. We don't see a lot of sun in England. <laughs> so when Emma and I arrived, we were like, we need to get into the sun ASAP. This is the first time I've actually ever, um, you know, been on my terrace in the sun with a blanket. I usually have been just working, 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 and it's a Sunday here. So Emma and I have just decided to have lunch, put a couple blankets down, there's no furniture up here, and just soak in the sun. So look at my fabulous, oh my gosh. I mean, this is what sold it for me. When I arrived to view the house, I was like, I have to have this as soon as I saw the terrace. I was like, this is the house I want. Anyway, it is spectacular. And I'm just waiting for those bells to ring, hopefully very, very soon. But until then, I'm gonna head back in the sun. Don't worry, we've got sunscreen on as well. <laughs> So we are here for 48 hours and the point of really coming here was not just to sleep but was also just to meet with the builder and make sure that little tweaks that need to be done from the works that already have been done get fixed until my next visit. But one of them, and again this is a sort of my mistake if you like, it's not a mistake, it's just something I don't like. So these are the lovely wood ceramic tiles and they're beautiful and I love them and but the grout that I clearly chose is too light I don't like it I don't like this light gray color so Emma and I have come here I've brought with me because I couldn't find them anywhere else but in well in England um, this dark gray grout pen and I've tested it and it does look so much better. So we're gonna grout this bathroom today, and then we're gonna go into the other small utility room that has a loo and where the lavatrice, the washing machine is going to go, and I need to get those done before. And then I'll come back again and do the corridor and the two bedrooms. But this is what we're gonna be spending most of the morning doing grout penning, and I can't wait for you to see the after. Well, we've only done the big bathroom and then the utility room, but it just, it looks exactly how I wanted it to look here. So it just, I mean, these are Italian ceramic tiles that are incredible because they look like wood, but having the dark gray um, as really the grout makes it look even more like wood, if you see what I mean. So we've done it, but We've got the whole corridor to do, plus the two bedrooms, um, and plus on the terrace there's another bit 
um, as leading out to the terrace, but I'm really happy. I also think that the dark gray obviously goes with bits of dark gray here on the bathroom. So that's it, and we're gonna leave this for now. When I come back, I'm gonna do more, except next time I just won't have Emma. <laughs> market. We just came to get a coffee, <laughs> but we've actually found something that we both are going to get and love. I'm going to keep my hair in Italy. She's going to take it back to London. We love these two white jackets. Don't worry, we're not going to match, but we think that these are actually brilliant. And yeah, we're going to take two. This is one of the many reasons why I love Vivizano that I can walk and get my Americano. I'm about to pour my water into my lovely black coffee. I have a Cornetto with marmalata with Emma and there is the lovely square. Look at that with the fountain. Oh my goodness. You just, it's just a beautiful, perfect day in Italy. Back up on the terrace and a couple of things. I have just, hung some laundry and I just want to say thank you. Um, somebody on YouTube who watched one of my first uh, videos here at my little Italian house uh, noticed that I probably need some old fashioned um, clothes pins here, um, which is just brilliant. And <laughs> here they are and they are so lovely. They're sort of, they're vintage clothes pins. So I want to say again, thank you for all your advice everybody who basically gave me advice on the right way to hang my laundry. Thank you and sent them to me. I mean, this has just been a wonderful, wonderful gift. So clothespins here, let me just clothespin these ones up. And super easy, love them. But now I'm going to show you something else. So yesterday at the flea market, I've been looking for really a chandelier for, um, Oh my goodness, I'll go over here. Yeah, I've been looking for a chandelier for the primary bedroom. And while I was at the place where I always go with Deborah and PG, of course the flea market is like exploring and you find so much treasure. And this was literally like underneath another light. And I think it's rather magnificent. And it has pretty much most of all, apart from these top ones here, most of all the crystals on, which was a miracle considering it was literally down sort of underneath the earth almost. And I'm just gonna give it a little clean right now. I'm gonna give the crystals a clean, but you can see here, Emma's holding my camera, how kind of dirty these crystals are. So I'm gonna give this a clean and this is what I wanna go into. It has to be completely rewired. It's, it's rather heavy, but this is what I want to go into the master bedroom and then of course we'll have to put a whole new light here so this will be this uh rod in the middle will be taken out and replaced but i'm just going to sit here in the sun and clean this incredible oh and if you're asking the price for this 20 euros so found this glorious um chandelier for 20 euros This is the mass that I've made from the chandelier. There's a lot of just yuck in it, but luckily it had this wire attached to it, which I was able to then sort of stick inside some of the areas of the chandelier. But something, ha I've revealed something rather exciting, which I'm gonna show you right now. So while I've been cleaning the glass crystals, which does make it so much better, I thought, oh, you know, this is gonna be the color of the chandelier. It's been so worn. It's been sitting outside for who knows how many years. And I don't even know how old this is. But as I started to clean it, these gold um, glints started to appear. And it's rather extraordinary. So I'm gonna to have to probably look on YouTube to see how, because this is a gentle scouring brush, but 
You can already see by scouring it here, just with gently, the gold coming through. I mean, it's unbelievable. I literally feel like I've struck gold. I mean, it's just crazy. And then what I just thought were, oh my gosh, this is incredible. Look what's coming through. It's unbelievable. Look at this lovely gold coming through. Lovely, lovely gold. And this, I'm pretty sure, is probably an antique brass because as I started to clean it, this, this started to come through this antique brass here. So I need to put in new screws there, but you can see that the crystal has obviously been cleaned quite a bit. But again, this is incredible and it must be all around. Um, so I'm just gonna stand up so that you can see what I thought I was gonna be hanging in my bedroom was just cleaning the glass crystals and then obviously keeping it as the sort of the worn look that it is but I really feel like I have struck gold and that underneath here, there, it's actually going to look fantastic. I'm just gonna get some advice on YouTube and probably go back to Matt Britton um, and talk to Luke as well. He's very good at restoring things uh, or at least knowing where to look for it, but I think it's gonna look absolutely spectacular. 20 euros, I literally thought this was how it was gonna look, you know, with the glass, with the crystals being cleaned and then I would just keep this look, but there is something underneath here which I cannot wait to uncover. This has literally made my whole trip. <laughs> I'm walking on one side of my street. If you remember, my house is sort of three sides and the street that one of the sides is on is called Via Giulia. Now, I didn't know this until like literally two weeks ago because it's not my address. There's another street that is my address, but I love it that it's Via Giulia because of course, uh, Julie in Italian is Julia. So I don't know if it's a twist of fate or something meant to be type of moment, but I kind of think it is. Now, my house is just behind Emma who's filming me, but beyond there are obviously beautiful hills amazing walks right behind me. But let's just point out here these fantastic citrus trees um, that my neighbor has, and I've been admiring them all, well, for 48 hours being here. And I'm thinking maybe I should do something like that at the front of my house, but I think the difficulty would be that I am not here all the time. I'm in and out, in and out, so difficult. But maybe, maybe I can find a plant that will last um, a long time. Anyway, I also wanted to point out that I did end up getting the white blazer at the market. I think it's absolutely brilliant, very summery. I'm gonna leave it here at the house. Uh, so every time I come here, you'll probably see me in more videos with my white blazer that I bought at the Fivizano market.